Hello everyone, hope you find yourself having a great day. Got another little tutorial for you today, how to get Popcorn Time working and installed on your Mac. Now this is good for Mac OS, S, uh, OS X 7.5 and up. So should work for you if you're working on any version of Mac OS X 7.5 and above. So I'm going to run my Firefox and I've got a URL here I'll put in the description below so you can click it rather than type it. It's popcorntime.io http colon slash slash popcorntime.io Once you're there you'll be presented with this page. We're going to download beta 3.7 and save our disk image. And wait for it to do it on its own and we're going to click save file I'm not sure the size of this my guess it's about 30 megs so it could take a minute or so depending on your speed download and once it's downloaded we're going to install that down here to our applications folder and we've got some alternatives too we're going to experiment with and uh, see if we can overcome some of the movies not showing up in our movies category so it's just about finished and it's finished we're going to look at it in our downloads let's see if we can find it right here we're going to launch that disk image file and hopefully all will work we got it and it's telling us to drag that into our applications folder and at that point it should install and it looks like we've installed that so we can close down the installer let's go to our applications and let's take a look see if we can see where it's hiding out here here we go we got it right here let's launch it for our first time and see what we get we can minimize this now you know popcorn time is a torrent file uh, application that streams these files from peers out there where people have a variety of different uh, portions of the movie so Popcorn Time is an application. This is just a warning letting us know that it's not an official App Store program and that it was something that we downloaded from the internet and appropriately might want to take caution. So we're going to choose to open. And so we'll accept their terms. And it looks like we've got it. Now this is the uh, beta version. And it looks like we've got movies. We can scroll through these and allow them to load. It looks like it's doing okay. We'll scroll back to the top. Let's take a look under TV series. Those seem to be working. And under our settings, I usually like to go right in here and tell it to show advanced settings. And it, right off the bat, if you want, you can change some of your catch folder information. I'm going to tell it to not clear my temp folder when I close the app. That way, if I want to watch a movie later on, I won't have to re-download it. I'll simply be able to go to my catch directory and play the movie with a QuickTime player. Okay, we'll exit out of here and let's go ahead and see if we can find an alternative. I'm going to hit my back button. I've simply located this by searching Google and typing Popcorn Time for Mac. And this is the link that we picked. Now they've got uh, a few different links out there. They've got a, pop, a Popcorn Time for Mac at Popcorn popcorn time for Mac Mac update so let's click this one here this is the original uh, link this is the people that uh, developed popcorn time they have a version 5.22 we'll go ahead and download that and save it that's 87 megs if we went back to this one this is popcorn time dot lo and you'll see their version is 3.7 so there's some differences going on where there's there's some naming convention uh, anomalies where a version 3.7 would indicate a previous version and they're showing a uh, update version as a beta at 5.22 so it's a higher number in the series of versions and my assumption is it's going to be uh, um, the most recent available version and it even looks like it's available on um, on an iPhone as well and we've got some updates available. We're going to ignore those for now. And our download is about 21 seconds away. Once this gets done, we'll go ahead and launch its installer and install that app into our applications. And at that point, 
do a comparison and see what's the difference in the uh, previous version we've installed and tested versus this new beta 5.22 version. Alright, so it's downloaded. We're going to go ahead and launch that. And let's see what we want to do. Maybe a double click will install it. It's an application to get our warning where I say OK. And here it is. You can see that it takes on a different look, a different animation um, when you launch the uh, program to see the thumbnails. They kind of fly in, swoop in. Okay, so this version of the movie is working. Let's take a look under TV shows. They all seem to be working. And then we'll go into our settings, our little gear icon here. And you'll notice that the, the uh, settings are a little bit different. Here our clear catch folder on exit is already disabled. Uh, that may have been a setting brought in from our other version that we'd already made that change to. So you can see we've got, if we close out here, we've got uh, the newer 5 version, 5x version, and it's functioning as well as the uh, previous version 3.41 or 3.4, what was it, 3.7. So just remember you've got pop popcorntime.io and you've got popcorn-time.se. So you've got the uh, older version and you've got the new updated version. I'll, just, I'll put the links in the description below. That way you'll have uh, quick and easy access where you can click on them rather than have to type this in and find them yourself. So hope you find this interesting. And remember, if you like my channel, comment, rate, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.